what is up guys Zane from the Zayn Madden YouTube channel and there are just routes in this game that absolutely destroy man-to-man -man coverage making it really tough to run even a hybrid coverage where you have a player individually manned up but you may or may not have heard there is an old friend back in Madden 24 and in a big big way and if you guys don't remember Madden 17 this is gonna jog your memory a little bit it is the return of slot cross man as you guys know crossing routes verticals out a bunch probably the best man beating route in the game this year a lot of players just spam it against the loop blitz meta if you guys play zone against it they can run off the coverage shell you have to user it and you're just really looking for anything that can make it so you can put your user attention elsewhere enter the slot cross man now this particular tactic is something you can do out of nickel sets or if you want to do it out of a dollar style set you're going to have to choose the dime one four now the dime one four is a defense that you guys can find in a variety of playbooks but i'm going to strongly urge that you guys check out but i'm going to strongly urge you to call a defensive playbook that has not only the dime one four but the three four odd yes the three four odd is also back in madden 24 and we have just dropped a revolutionary meta shifting defensive game plan over on gridirongameplans.gg mcs competitor in madden pro goose one of the best blitzers in the competitive madden space has dropped his game plan with setups to counter bunch tight bunch strong tight slots under center rpos and has crazy depth chart glitches that can allow you to get the best coverage players possible to amp up the coverage behind an amazing blitz so if you guys pair that game plan with this particular tip today you're going to be all set so let's go ahead and get into it here we are going to be talking about the big dime one four now what we're going to do here is we're going to teach you guys how to set this up very very quickly out of the huddle and what you're going to want to do is turn your auto flip off after all this is basically a symmetrical formation if you look at it now the way that you're going to call this is you can call any play that you want but you need to create some sort of you know device for yourself that's going to allow you to remember which way you want to call it flipped or unflipped now the way i remember it is when you open up the first page cover one robber the extra blitzing linebackers on the left you can call any play like that just don't flip it we are immediately going to press and we're going to find the left slot corner all you have to do is just move them a little bit you don't even have to move them as much as i did there you're going to hit switch player one time that's circle on playstation b on xbox it's going to give you the other slot corner you're going to move him and then all you're going to do is flip the play now it flips the zones now this is where the tip comes into play the game thinks that the left slot corner has now gone over to the right and the game thinks that the right slot corner has gone over to the left therefore when it comes to your man up options it only allows you to man up the players on the side of the field that they think the player is already on ea sports it's in the game so let's say that you were worried about you know x on a post and the middle receiver in the bunch on a crosser these would be your cross man options that you could use this is going to allow you to kind of keep your coverage over the top you could go ahead and play your flats from the inside to outside uh so if i wanted to i could put that linebacker into a hard flat i could put him in a purple whatever it is and then i can lurk on this side and the best part is i don't have to worry about guarding the crossing route if they run some sort of streak to run off the deep zone coverage because i have a player on the left side waiting for Devin Hester on his crosser. So let's go ahead and run kind of a speed dig setup. This is a popular bunch combo out of uh, the bunch X nasty shotgun formation. And you're gonna see that when we snap the ball, he is going to run to the middle of the field and then run with the crosser across the field. This is drastically different than if I were to play man to man on the same side of the field. Let's say I were to put this player on him here and just man him up same side. And again, with this, if I were to, you know, just play zone coverage, around this you can fully expect that the crossing route to hester is going to smoke wool in across the field and we could throw this ball you know as a you know a zone beater now fortunately i had uh you know a good break on ball from my outside quarter there but if that were an outside third a deep half they would have both not been in the area that's an easy completion again the focus of this is the fact that you know this crossing route was able to beat the man-to-man -man coverage when it was on the same side of the field i mean you see right here it's open at this point you could throw the ball and it's you know a quick throw over the middle you could wait for him to run off the coverage and do a better free form into this area of the field we're out here you know again it's a very very easy concept but again with the cross man what you're going to be able to do is come out in any play let's this time maybe call cover two sync i'm going to click onto this slot corner just tap hit b tap 
foot the play. Now all I have to do is man up the, the player that I want manned up and we are good to go. Now, of course, if you are in zone, make sure that you guys are paying attention to that as well because there is a chance that, uh, you know, your, your zone is gonna cross zone as well. So find something for this player to do. For those of you that are still living on the edge with that loot blitz meta, I would recommend maybe loot blitzing off of this side, just saying. And now with this particular setup, if they were to run, you know, this concept here, you're gonna see that, you know, we're gonna be able to loot blitz, we're gonna be able to uh, cross man. Uh, even if our loot blitz doesn't work, we still have a guy in right there. I bumped into him a little bit with my user, but we have a guy that can then receive the crossing route coming across the field. Let's go ahead and do this one more time. Again, come out in any play, find this slot corner, move him, hit B to go to the other slot corner, move him, flip the play, and then just man up. Then from there, all you have to do is change your zones, however you see fit. Uh, you can man up another player if that's something that you wanted to do as well. Again, you could cross man the other side or the you know cross man the running back if you think a Texas route is coming. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do with this. But again, when they go to snap this ball, you're gonna be looking at that cross man able to receive the you know cross from or a post from the, the bunch side. Another thing that I will tell you is that I'm actually a big fan of base aligning after I do this and call me a little crazy, but I think it changes the intersection point of the cross man. So with this, you see right here, kind of where he was, see how he's running over directly to the other side of the field to get him. And he kind of bumped into me a little bit, which made, you know, things a little bit worse. He still could have played the, the man to man coverage here. I want to show you what happens when we, when we base align. So for some reason, when we base align, the guy goes to, um, you know, a different point. He, so again, he kind of ran like flat across the field and then tried to you know pick the crosser up and run with him you'll notice a lot of times when you base a line that this actually will um make him kind of like play it uh, played it a little bit different uh angle he'll like receive it differently so uh, you see right here again he did a he did a better job uh, you know in that situation um we also had a good zone on the play now the other thing to consider too is that you do want decent man-to-man -man rating this is um bassy who i think has like 79 man coverage This is the same Bassey who is not a man coverage corner. He's actually a zone guy, but uh, you know, if you have a better man coverage player on your team, you can always put them in this spot and uh, cross man with that. So if you feel like your guy's still getting beat, yeah, I mean, he's got 81 man coverage. Uh, you know, go ahead and put in a Patrick Peterson or somebody like that, that can make that happen for you. So, you know, again, this will still be very, very good with low man coverage players. Obviously, as you get into higher man coverage ratings, you'll you'll see that they don't get, you know, beat as easily. Again, click onto him, click onto him, flip the play, and then you can just man up, uh, you know, on your cross man and, and you're good to go. So again, here we are make sure that i keep these guys i'll spy them so that way hopefully we don't bump into them uh get them out of the way uh if they run the the crossing route you're gonna see here patrick peterson he is bumping into people but you see how he stayed on that crossing route far better and there you go there's your interception and uh never really open never really open so it plays a significantly better angle in the man-to-man -man coverage than what you would expect out of a lower overall player but you know that's one plus one equals two type stuff i mean better man coverage equals better better man coverage so uh you know that's um that's how this goes also don't forget that this is a looping formation while time lasts so you know in the event that uh you ever want to just stack these guys and fake whether or not you're cross manning you always have the option to you know try to do the loop blitz stuff off of that as well but um again i do think loop blitz will end up getting patched and you know that's that's another probably month away i would assume maybe even tomorrow who knows but again with this you you do have the ability out of this formation to loop blitz as well a lot of what i'm talking about here was actually something that was on gridiron game plans just this past week i'm giving you guys free ball off the website right here right now um so again your opponent doesn't even really know whether you're cross manning or double loop blitzing here in this uh situation so now you've got this defense where you know there's a chance that those guys are coming in off the edge and you can use it yourself along with this so this is a pretty filthy little defense that you guys are going to be able to run uh dropping basically kind of a free mini game plan from the website here on the youtube channel now let's go ahead and get into nickel packages and how to do this out of nickel real quick all you're going to do here is you're going to come out with the nickel corner opposite of where you want them to be so uh right here i'm going to choose three three cub and i'm going to basically uh you, you don't want auto flip on at all uh just for the record you want them you know over here uh and you're going to uh basically flip the play so that way it tricks the game into thinking that uh you know he's on the other side and then you're going to be able to man him up uh, so depending on what you're in here this will this will help you out again this is bassy so again kind of worry about his man coverage a little bit uh, 
So right there, you know, obviously he gets beat just a little bit. But, you know, if you have a better man covered slot corner, you can still do the same trick. Again, you just call a nickel package. You want to make sure your auto flip is off for this. Keep him on the opposite side, flip the play, and then you can man up in a cross man fashion. Again, pay attention to what type of formation you're in though. Sometimes you'll get some movement depending on what play you call. But you see right here in this situation, I've got, you know, cross man on Hester. Uh, again, better man coverage is better. Goes without saying. But again, you see right here that, you know, he's trying to play that crosser again. Have a higher rated man coverage corner than what I'm showing you right there. Uh, get get Patrick Peterson, get Gilmore, get whoever for this type of role. And they'll play much better uh, than what you're seeing right there. 81 man coverage ain't going to get the job done. But you saw that did a few times. And obviously with Patrick Peterson in on this role, you won't have to worry about it. There you guys have it. That is how you guys cross man in Madden 24 from the slot. It's a great tactic for defending some of the most popular meta formations in the game on offense i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you guys subscribe to the channel hit the like button drop a comment below we'll see you guys tomorrow with our next video upload until then this is zan get in the lab and good luck